Hey there, today I wanna to show you how to trellis your sugar snap peas along your trellis to be sure that they keep growing, that there's no slowdown and you get the most amount of peas from your plants. So today I'm working, it's late April. These peas have been planted in the garden for about, I don't know, three or four weeks. They're pretty slow to take off. It's been colder here some nights of frost and I haven't covered them. But you can see they are starting to produce um, their first little tendril. So peas have this natural um, ability. They create their own climbers. So they have these little tendrils attached to their stems and they use these to grow vertically to protect and grow the vine. So to do this, all you really need is some twine and some scissors. You could also use something like fishing line or any kind of wire really. You want it to be a pretty thin gauge. So as you can tell, those little tendrils on the peas are super fine and, and little. So what I found over the years, even though I love having this big strong trellis for vining plants in the summer, like tomatoes or cucumbers, peas have these smaller, more fragile tendrils that really need a smaller gauge wire. So no biggie, all we're gonna do is provide that for them by putting these little um, trellis kind of extra wires along the bottom of the trellis so that the tendrils will sense the wire sooner and start to grow up faster. What I found is if these little tendrils do not feel um, some kind of structure that they can cling to or something that they can grab onto, they'll often halt their growth. So as soon as I start to see the peas um, grow to say two inches tall, two, three inches tall, and those first tendrils appear, I would have come out and add a little bit of twine to support them. So all I did is I cut my, um, my twine to be about twice the width of my trellis. You could even do it at just the width and tie it on both ends. But I have peas planted on both sides of my trellis. So I'm going to, I wanna have um, twine on both sides. So as you can see, I'm already kind of hitting where the tendrils are. So I'm just gonna kind of come in here, make sure I'm at about the right height. You wanna be just about, I don't know, half an inch or, or so below the, the, the tallest pea shoot. So I'm just there and then I'm gonna tie it pretty tightly, as tight as I can do by hand, just so there's good tension on the twine and the peas have something really nice and strong. So you can see how taut that is. And then I'll see, I kind of need a partner here. You know how like when you're learning to tie shoes, someone um, holds their finger on the knot, you kind of need that for this. So I'm gonna try to keep it as tight as I can and tighten it up just like that. So while I'm at it, because I try to not, you know, get behind on garden chores and I know my tendency to like, you know, put stuff off or get too busy. I'm gonna go ahead right now and just make probably two or three more of these so that over the next probably, I don't know, three or four weeks, these peas are supported all the way until they get to this height. So what I found over the last few years um, is that these peas start growing in the spring right now, like right around April, and then they really don't finish until the end of May. So we have quite a long period here where they're gonna be growing, and, um, and it takes a bit for them to take off because our weather here in the Chicago area is, um, is pretty slow to warm up in the spring. So I'm gonna tie one every, you know, I didn't do as good of a job making that one tight, but I'm gonna tie one every, say, two to three inches up the trellis. And then I know that over the next few weeks, however tall these peas may grow, they're gonna have something to cling on to as they go. So let me see if I can do a better job. I really do need a partner here to hold it tight. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'll probably do just one more and then we're good to go. Now, a fun thing you can do with these peas um, to get more from the season, 
I don't know about you, but when I start harvesting sugar snaps, I'm like, wait, I'd like a few more before the season's over. Um, so one thing you can do is actually come back in succession, sow these. So I could come in after these are starting to grow and I can come back, say every um, two weeks and plant a few more pea seeds. Now I'm gonna eventually replace these peas with tomatoes when we're past the frost date. But that doesn't mean that I can't still have peas climbing up these trellises before the tomatoes start to really do their thing. So there we go. I've just added a few extra pieces of twine here. It's gonna support the peas all the way up. And then once they get to this point, those vines are gonna be really trusting of this space now and know, hey, we're gonna be supported all the way up as we grow. I'll probably end up having to add a little bit of extra twine here on this next level. But generally it's just getting them through the first six to 12 inches of growth. Once you do that, it's pretty much smooth sailing after that. So that is the way to trellis your peas from the start and make sure you get the most peas for your space in your kitchen garden. Thanks for watching.